Welcome to Full Core Fits, the show that takes you around the world of NBA fashion while also bringing you the latest, greatest, biggest news in sneaker culture today. I'm Big Waz, and we in the studio! <laughs> Let's go. All right, let's get right into sneak peek. First up, we have the LeBron 4 anthracite. Uh, news has recently been leaked that these are dropping for the holiday season of this year. LeBron 4 was actually one of the first early models that I think caught on. A lot of people back in 06 was rocking them, the hooping, all kinds of stuff. You would see them every now and again. This color is not for me. Very black on black Air Force One vibes. This is like the kind of sneaker somebody would wear with like Carhartt work pants and a tank top at the park. Uh, the kind of guy who gets mad every time you call a foul on him. Foul. <laughs> that was a bullshit call. But I think it's cool, man. I, I, I like the, what Nike's been doing with these LeBron retros. Like, they're kind of hopping around. They're not going in chronological order, which I think most people expected them to. I think a lot of people will like this shoe. It's just the all black is just not for me. And the price, Lord have mercy, $240 retail. I mean, do these people think we're made of money? Uh, yeah, anyway, holiday of 2023. LeBron James for Anthracite. Next up, man, we try not to really cover these as much, um, these friends and family releases, but uh, Clark Kent is just such a freaking legend in the sneaker space. Forget about all the work he's done in hip hop, just in the sneaker space. You guys will remember the James Dean, LeBron, eights uh he did a pair of sevens for lebron's he did the scars pizza in air force ones and now he's come up with this concept called the list where he's basically giving out pairs to his homies and his family members of people who he feels like are you know important people in the sneaker industry and he has a close relationship with i think these sneakers are incredible i would expect nothing less from a clark kent shoe not gonna lie they kind of evoke the feeling from some of those undefeated air force ones where you know each shoe is different and it's just got like the different colors on all of the different panels but again even if it's not the most you know, hyper original concept. I just think the details on here are just second to none. No word yet on if these will get a general release. Maybe they will without all the, you know, bells and whistles and accoutrement that the friends and family stuff gets. But I, I swear to God, if these come out, I, I will try my hardest to get my hands on these. So yeah, we try to stick to sneakers that people can actually buy, um, but these are just so crazy. And Clark Kent is such a legend. We wanted to talk about these today. So yeah, the Clark Kent hashtag the list friends and family pack. All right, next up on sneak peek. This news came out last week, but I wanted to talk about it because I just think it's such a huge deal. Steph Curry signs an extension with Under Armour. It's being reported could turn into a lifetime deal. The story of Steph leaving Nike is so infamous at this point where when he was trying to renegotiate with them back in around 2014, the executives uh, got his name wrong in the deck and it was just embarrassing. And of course, he's the most popular basketball player on the planet. I think it's safe to say he surpassed even LeBron in popularity at this point. Uh, just a major blunder on um, Nike's part. Shouts to my brother Ethan Sherwood Strauss. He wrote one of the biggest stories in the history of ESPN.com, just detailing the story of how Steph ended up at Under Armour in the first place, and the rest is history. The sign of Steph is just world historic <laughs> for their company, as far as any sneaker brand. I, he's, he's one of the most important sneaker signings ever, and at this point, he is that company. And so, I think it makes all the sense to the world that he would re-sign with them. I don't know that his sneakers necessarily Necessarily have the same steam that they did back in 2015 or 2016 but still man uh this is a big ass deal and so we wanted to talk about it up here today steph curry man he's gonna be with under armor for the foreseeable future all right let's get right into copper drop <laughs> First up is Kelly Olenek of the Utah Jazz. Clearly, somebody saw Cocaine Bear and really, really liked that movie. No, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. I don't know where he got this jacket. 
from um but he's a he looks like a grizzly bear in him nike dunks panda dunks which i guess panda is a bear so i like the synergy there <laughs> and just the nike windbreaker man this is what it's all about dude like just having fun with what you're doing. Shouts to Kelly Olenek, man, for being such a good sport. This is incredible. Obviously, I'm copping this. Next up, Emmanuel Quickly, one of my favorite players personally to watch in the league. I just love this guy's energy and enthusiasm. He's rocking a jacket from a brand called Shino Angel. Uh, it's a trucker jacket. His pants, a very interesting pair of pants. They're calling these the Not Sweatpants from a brand called DLMFO. And some kicks by Naked Wolf, the Midnight Sneaker. The pants are sort of the story here. Uh, <laughs> I just think it's funny because like you know he's a bucket getter and he's rocking you know he's basically rocking a net it's like the, the final four just passed you just know how people cut the nets down when they make it to the final four Emmanuel quickly decided to make, get some pants in that spirit just an interesting look uh definitely not for me but it's fun I think he's having a good time with this not taking himself too seriously so I'm gonna definitely cop this fit Last but certainly not least, Denny Avdia of the Washington Wizards. He's rocking a sweater by Who Decides War, who is a brand, again, up and coming. They're getting a lot of burn up here recently. Bell Bottom Pants by Rick Owens because of freaking course and white and white air force ones i'm i'm a fan of the white button up underneath this top which has like i don't even know these are like panels or whatever the invisible tie i'm always a fan of that look i you know i i guess he could have had his nipples out on this <laughs> instead of rocking an actual shirt underneath so kudos to him for the restraint there it's just i i'm i'm so sick of nba dudes in the rick and you know i just it's this is isn't, isn't for me i'm sorry denny i'm gonna have to drop this fit all right that was our show for today make sure you subscribe to the ringers youtube feed make sure you hit that notification bell so that you're getting full core fits in all of our offerings every single day here on the ringers youtube feed uh shout out to our producers rich and gahal these guys are killing and making sure the trains run on time we will see you guys next week peace